Hello gamers. Welcome to another one of my video on Retrobat and RPCS3 Portable. In this video, we are going to extract and install Retrobat onto my expansion USB drive. We will also put ROMs into specific folders depending on HDD or disk games. We will also use my Excel M3U generator for HDD games only. Scraping for artworks and downloading and setting themes, etc. Seems like we have a lot to cover, let's go. Open File Explorer. I have already downloaded Retrobat and PS3 firmware, both are on my desktop. You can find the links in the description below. My expansion USB drive letter is Drive D. We are going to install Retrobat here. When we double click Retrobat setup file, click the browse button and change the default location to Drive D is shown here and click OK. Click Next. Make sure the two components, DirectX and Visual C++, are checked, then click Next. Uncheck the Create Desktop shortcut, it is not necessary as we are installing on to a portable drive. Click Install and wait for it to finish. It will take some time, so sit back and relax. Once the installation is completed, we should now see a Retrobat folder here. This is what we want. Now on my desktop, I have, one PS3 disc game, one PS3 HDD game. Also on my desktop is my VBA macro enabled Excel file called Retrobat M3U Generator and XML Editor version 0.2.xlsm. Before we can use this macro enabled file, you need to add its location to Trust Center. Open the Excel file. Click on File menu and at the bottom left click Option. Follow the on-screen display on how to add the Trust location. When you are done, close the Excel program. Next, open Retrobat folder. Double-click Retrobat.exe for the first time. When Retrobat opens, scroll to Retrobat icon and press Enter. Find RPCS3 and press Enter. Click Yes to install RPCS3. When RPCS3 is on screen, we are going to do two things here. First we will install its firmware then we are going to install the HDD game only. From File menu, click Install Firmware. Locate ps 3 updatepup and make sure you see it in the file name box then click Open. Wait for it to finish. When finished, click OK. Go to File menu again. This time click on Install Packages slash Wraps slash Adats menu. Locate the PS3 HDD game folder, in my case, it is on my desktop labeled as package wrap Double-click to open the folder. Inside you will find a package and wrap files. Highlight both then click open. Wait for it to finish. When done, highlight the game we just installed. Right-click one time. Go to copy info and copy name plus serial. Paste this info into a notepad, we will need it later. Now close RPCS3 and quit Retrobat. Open File Explorer. Go to d colon backslash retrobat backslash roms backslash ps3 folder. Copy or move the disk game here. Make sure the game folder name has an extension .ps3. At this juncture, as you can see, retrobat only has one game list under ps3. The HDD game is not listed yet. We need to generate an M3U file for any HDD games. While PS3 disk games type, we can just simply drag and drop them at the ROMs backslash PS3 folder. Now we open the Excel file again. Make sure the RPCS3 HDD tab is active. It is best to click on Reset All Fields button. Now click on Retrobat Path button. Click one time on Drive D in Retrobat. Make sure you see Retrobat in the folder name box here, then click OK. As you can see, my Excel program has listed the HDD game as what RPCS3 listed it as a serial ID. We can now set the name of the game, it will only affect the M3U file and not the HDD game folder name. It is important not to change the installed HDD folder name. If you were to click Gen M3U files now, you will get an error message. This is due to the red color bar at the side of the field. Now open the notepad and copy only the name and paste it in the cell that correspond to the serial ID. Once everything is OK, the bar at the side of the field turns green. Now we can click Gen M3U Files button. Click OK and close the Excel program. We have successfully generated one M3U file. 
Now let's open Retrobat. As you can see, both our games are now listed under PS3. This is what we want. Let's scrape some artworks. Press start on your controller. Go to scraper. We are going to scrape from screen scraper. Go to systems included. Select the system that we want to scrape. Go back. Choose scrape now and wait for it to finish. When scraping finished, go to game settings. Update game lists. Then select yes. Sometimes global scraping cannot get all archives, we need to scrape them individually. Press and hold the cross button or south button to bring out the side menu. Select scrape. In this way, we can choose from several artworks if they are available here. Go back to main menu. User interface settings. Theme configuration. Let's change the game list view to one of my favorite style, game carousel. Go back until the menu disappear. Now our UI is looking better than before. This is what we want. Let's launch a game. If you like this video, gives it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.